Now, so we, we have a, a, a medium size of watermelon here. What we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna carve a, a simple flower on it. So just for stability, what we have to do is just take the bottom off. So that what it does is, it just keeps it solid, so it doesn't move. And same thing, what you have to do is you have to judge which surface area is much larger and stronger to hold any carving. So in my idea, that, that part of that is much more better. So what we have to do is take this back part and just a small scoop out of that as well so that sometimes if we have to put the watermelon like that to carve on it, it sits very well. Because the outer skin is a little bit tougher, so we, 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 we're gonna get rid of it, we're gonna peel it out. Okay, again, we are using a, a chopping knife and a paring knife, a carving knife, as you can call it, small. That's what we'll be using. Yeah. Now, peeling is just the top of skin, which is the hardest skin on the watermelon. That's what we are using. Now, these fruits are much more easier to carve because they are softer inside, and they look much good because there's two, three different tones of colors are going on. There's red inside and white and light green. So, just get our surface ready. So nice evenly peeled off all around it. I think that's much better. And what we're gonna do is just all these bit lines there, what just the peeler to go around to make it much bit more smoother. So that's that's done there. Now carve a small center part of the flower basically. Okay. As you can see, it has to be more or less a perfect round. Okay, so we, we have that ready there. What we do now is half moon shapes. That size, okay? Now what we have to do is we don't cut all the way in. We're just cutting up till the end, but not all the way, because obviously it's gonna break apart. So half moon shapes going all around the circle and inside the circle. We have just half moons all the way going around inside the circle. Now, all these middle parts has to come out. Okay. So basically, if you can rotate your fruit, you can rotate your fruit, you can rotate your hand, you can rotate the hand. Okay, so. So that's inside part out just to make sure the surface is level because all these small details will actually highlight how good the flower looks like. Okay, so all this surface everywhere is nice and smooth. Okay, we're just gonna take the center part out. Okay, now what we're doing is same procedure again inside half moons starting from the middle of one of the moons there and finishing on the other half as well. So that's the whole idea. Okay, so I'm doing the same procedure. I'm taking a, a layer underneath those moons out because there's not much of a gap like these ones in there. So what we are doing is just taking the layer out. So if you imagine a, a flower which is kind of closing from inside, will have similar kind of pet petals which are much more smaller inside, they're much more closer to each other as well. So imagining that, we are working ahead. Okay, so, now, same thing again, because it's a bit smaller inside, we just need a couple more petals in there, not too many. Okay, so that's literally done. What you can do is just give a bit more detail. You can just carve, it doesn't have to be any shape. Just take out a few bits there, so it looks like there's small petals which are trying to open in there. For some petals outside, what we do is, these will be smaller petals outside and bigger petals outside. Oh, sorry, smaller petal 
inside the ring and as we go outside we'll make them bigger so now shape of the petal is basically your own what you want so if you want it that way just take it okay and again if you see I have taken the middle of that middle of that and create a petal in them and we're repeating the same thing Same thing again, what you do is you take the middle bit out just to highlight, make it three dimensional. Okay, so as you see, the interior of the flower is there. We just, if you see, this is flat and this is flat, and there's a line going around it. We don't want that because we want the flower to be just on one surface. So we take that line out. Okay, so that's nice and flat surface there. And what we need is similar two layers just outside of, outside of that. And that's, that's the flower ready then. So if you want, we just go ahead and make another two layers outside of that. Okay, so that's basically it's ready. It's beautiful to present on any buffet or something. And if you have a bowl or a plate, it can be sitting bowl and you can garnish it with a bit of lettuce or something if you want on the side. So what we're gonna do is we try to make two small flowers here. They, as I said you can you can make it as a bouquet so it could be any kind of flowers um, as we have done there we can copy that or if we are making into smaller you can you can just choose any kind of petal, petal forms and they will give you flowers so say if we take a small round there because we're just trying to make a small flower there and just again in a V shape we are cutting the lines So again, that's, a, that's just the center of the flower. We go petals outside. It doesn't have to be too complex, just simple. Okay, and again, just clear this out. We're only gonna make another layer because it's just a small flower on the bouquet. Okay, so that's one small flower ready there. And what we are doing is we're gonna make another flower around it. But what we are gonna do is because we're just gonna make a half of the flower so that it looks like in three-dimensional way that the flower is actually behind that flower. So rather than starting the center of the flower in here, we're basically gonna start somewhere here and we're not gonna complete it, we're just gonna go halfway through. So if you look at it, we're just gonna go half here, okay? So rest half is basically assumed that it's behind it, okay? And we're gonna just copy a little bit what we've done before on the watermelon, just a few half moons there. And again, you don't need to go into too detail because they are pretty small. Okay, and just go. It's more or less the same what we have done before. Okay, so that's a bit of part of the bouquet is done as well. So basically it gives an impression that that big flower is actually behind that one. What we're gonna do is, um, because it's only a medium sized watermelon, we, we cannot go with a, a big rose here. So for that, again, we need to carve in the middle, the a middle circle just for the interior of the, the flower. 
okay now for for the rows what you have to do is once you carve that you need to take out a line here again it's in the same way as you take out anything else here it's, it's done in a v-shape so you go this way and you go this way so for this kind of flower you need to carve petals inside as well so just what you're doing is the outside of the circle you're just carving thin petal petals left with the circle inside we're just gonna uniform that we make it there's no sharp ends anywhere okay and we're gonna repeat a similar process carving few petals inside the circle okay and I think that's done okay so that's just the interior of the rows there we're gonna carve petals outside as well so what we are doing here is we're taking a half moon basically out now whatever layer is left inside we're just outlining that so that leaves us with thin petal and we follow the same thing again start from nearly the middle of the other petal take out that piece which is half moon and just outline that and it's the same process all around okay so that's first layer done just take out from the sides to make it visible okay so what we did is just take a thin boundary out flatten the surface for the next layer now for the next layer it's the same process half moon out and just outline that part which is empty okay so that's the rows nearly done there you just kind of clear the sides okay so we have three flowers there um, what you have to do get just a couple of leaves there so for leaves as I show you before as I made out of cucumber it's probably the same idea here so just the interior of the leaf there So we have one big leaf on the outside and the other side we can make probably two small leaves in a similar fashion. Okay, so that leaves are ready. What we have to do is just make it look like that these flowers are connected with the whole theme so we're just gonna make up the stocks there and that's, that's basically it's ready uh, so a couple of flowers and a rose and a few leaves around it and you can present that in a buffet